The universe is way bigger than you think. It's so big that there's more stars than there are grains of sand on our planet. Like the little itty bitty grains, grains of sand are, is really big. So guess what? Boy, you bit that out of here. And if you feel small right now, please just click that subscribe button. And yeah, comment down below if you could visit any planet, which one would you visit? Would you go to Mercury, Venus, Mars, or would you just stay on Earth? Let me know. And let's go the entire universe in just 20 seconds. Okay, here we go. We start on our planet. Yes. Earth looking good. See, it's a circle, it's not flat. Oh, uh oh. And then we zoom out. Jeez. What the? We're that small. Look how big. Dang, and that's just our galaxy. And it keeps going. Oh my gosh. It keeps zooming out. What the heck, man? That's not even the full thing. That's just embarrassing that we're that small. Come on, Earth, step your game up. Our dang galaxy is just is like this compared to the rest of the universe. I feel tiny. Uh, well, might as well eat another 3,000 calories. Apparently, we are all alone in the universe. What? Okay, so there is something called the rare Earth hypothesis theory that argues planets with complex life like Earth are extremely rare, and that intelligent extraterrestrial life is extremely improbable. In simple terms, it means we are one of a kind. And scientists believe if there were other life forms on different planets, they either would have drove themselves to extinction or a catastrophic event extinct them. Because they believe if there was other life out there, then we would have found it by now. So the rare Earth hypothesis claims we are just all alone in this huge universe and that life on Earth is the luckiest thing that ever happened in history. What? Man, I don't know. Look, man, you really think we the only one that, you got a big ego or big ego thinking that we're the only ones that are in the entire universe. We just saw how big the universe is. There's so many galaxies, there's so many suns, there's so many planets. I'm sure like uh, there's a bunch of those planets that can handle sustainable life. Us as humans may not be able to survive on those other planets, but intelligent life could have developed and could have evolved and adapted so that it could sustain its life on those other planets. They could have evolved into something that can handle a lot more heat than we can. So no, bro, I think we got, there, 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 there's aliens out there. I do declare. Sounds of the universe, Venus. the sun. The sun sounds like a bunch of wind blowing. What the heck? Earth sounds normal. That sounds like I just opened my window. Sounds like a horror movie. That literally sounds like horror music. Oh, black hole. Wow. Why does it have to be black? Uranus, the planet. Neptune. How many planets do we have? Dang. Jeez, in our little solar system. Pluto's not a planet, it's a dwarf, or a celestial dwarf is like the, yeah, something like that. Ah, that's it, dang. I'm sorry, man, these planets and black holes be sounding weird, making weird noises. <laughs> Sounds like a fart, like what the heck? The scariest thing about space is that we don't know how the universe will end. We know that the Earth will end in about five billion years when the sun starts to die and engulfs it. But the universe, okay. we're not sure. The universe has a beginning about 13.8 billion years ago, and it's been expanding oh, that's all? ever since. There are a few ways that the universe could end, and the first option for the death of the universe is called the Big Crunch. This hypothesis says that eventually the gravitational Bunch attraction crunch. of all of the galaxies and stars and black holes and everything in space will slow the expansion of the universe and reverse it. Eventually, everything in space would start to collide, killing life on any planet, until everything contracts back into a single point. 
Jeez. This hypothesis is interesting because that could mean that another Big Bang could occur afterwards, and that many universes could have existed before now, and that cycle is called the Big Bounce. A part two with more options for the death of the universe is coming soon. Girl, girl, you better give me some good news. I don't want to hear that, oh, everything's going to end in five billion years. When you tell kids that, like, world is going to end in five billion years, they get so sad. I'm like, you're, you, you're going to be gone. You don't have to worry. It's going to be somebody else's problem. Things that are bigger than you think. Oh, uh, I mean, um, yeah, uh, <clears throat> thanks. The USA. The USA. America's bigger than the moon? Dang. The sun. Hmm. Compared to Earth, oh my gosh, jeez. Why is the sun so dang big, like, bro? The sun's on steroids, that's not fair. This planet is so terrifying, it has officially been given the nickname, the planet of terror. The weather <laughs> on this planet is deadly. I'm talking 5,400 mile per hour winds. That is seven times the speed of sound. Oh. What's even worse, this planet actually rains 500 degree glass, meaning you would likely die by a thousand cuts. <laughs> well, good night, <coughs> sleep tight. It's okay guys, we're not going to that planet. I mean, dang. It looks like a nice planet though, nice and blue. Is there even any land over there? That would suck, you're just swimming in the ocean on that planet with 5,400 mile per hour winds. You're gonna need a real strong house. A house made out of brick oh the universe is way bigger here we go okay we got earth right there and then some planet called kepler c that's way bigger than us dang and that nept jeez man and then there's our sun and it just keeps go oh. that's crazy all these other suns are just way bigger than our sun which is way bigger than the earth Dang, man! How much stuff is out there? And that's just in our galaxy alone. And then you got billions of other galaxies. Oh my gosh. This is just sad. I mean, look at all this. It'd be really cool to travel the universe and travel to different galaxies. But, like, I want to know that I'm going to be safe. I need to be rolling with somebody who knows what's up, who's been to these places before, and who's going to get me back home nice, safe, and sound. So, we know for a fact you again? that our universe began around 13.8 billion years ago with the Big Bang. But have you ever wondered how the universe might end? No. One of the more popular theories among astronomers is known as the Big Crunch. This theory essentially says that one day the expansion of the universe will flip and our universe, with everything in it, will literally begin to collapse. Jeez. As the universe begins to shrink, everything would be heated up to unimaginable temperatures before being crushed together into a single point. No! Some astronomers even believe that at this point, the Big Bang would happen again, restarting the universe. However, I wouldn't worry too much. In a few billion years, the sun will consume the Earth, so chances are we won't be around to see it. At the moment, this theory seems a bit unlikely as the expansion of the universe is actually speeding up. If you want to hear other theories, I might have to make a video about the heat death of the universe. Uh, no, man. Look at the face he's making. You look like an evil villain revealing your evil plans to take, take over, over the, the universe. universe. Don't trust anybody who puts their hands like this. If somebody is talking to you like this, no. You know they're up to no good. Look, look at this. Does this look inviting? Hello, everyone. <laughs> yeah. You're fired! Ooh, this is just peaceful. Oddly satisfying. The Earth. Space. Novas. Supernovas. Satellites. Suns. Dang. Our moon. Yo, what is that? That planet got burnt. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, somebody left that planet in the oven too long. <clears throat> anyway. Okay, okay. Ooh. Very nice. Bro. You see there? I don't want to go there. Like this, like, like, I don't want to travel here. This place looks like it's on, it's having its last day. I want to go somewhere happy. Like here. This is where I want to go. Wait, what? That's Earth? Oh, well, we already here, baby. Welcome to theories about the universe that may or may not change your entire perspective on life. 
Warning, potential existential crisis incoming. Yeah. So this first one says that if someone were to figure out exactly what the universe was and what its purpose was, then it would just poof and come back as something even more peculiar. What? And as an extension, maybe this has already happened and it's just a vicious cycle. No! There's a theory that our universe is just one single atom, and all of the atoms that we're made up of are also smaller universes, and this scale is infinite. Girl, I don't even think I understand this one, and I honestly don't even know if it makes sense, so bear with me. <laughs> so some people theorize that time is just one giant loop, and as it goes around and around, we advance more and more. So for example, the pyramids were actually built in our version of the future, but it was actually the beginning of the previous loop. Gosh dang it, girl, you done broke my brain. How dare you? You know what, as a consequence, I have to take you out on a date, all right? That's the only solution. And guess what? We got time. But if you enjoyed this video, then go ahead and smack that like button. And yeah, I'ma see ya in the next one. Peace.